I feel like you're ready for anything that we are offering you. Mm. Wow. So okay. it's like Yo, hey, women, stay far away from this type of guy. Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, Kites. Here with my lovely wife, it's just Alex. What's up, peoples? Hey, today, we got to react to the young Tippendales Pop the Balloon or Find Love episode five. Tippendale Live. Tippendale Live, your boy, Tippendale. Hey, shout out to him. You know, we got to always watch our lets and we always got to watch his when he drop his, man. Hopefully people showed up this time because y'all been hoeing him. Y'all say y'all going to go to his show and y'all don't be showing up. Mm -hmm. So, hey, man, hopefully, you know, he find he helped people find some love out there. All right. Hey, don't forget to like his video, like our video. Liking videos does help, guys. Remember to always like. Let's jump into it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on. You throwing up a lot of stuff at the start of this video, gangster. All right. Okay. Okay, T. Hey. Okay. okay. It's a calm fit, look calm fit. Everybody drinking, bro. Oh, he back. Okay. He was funny. Yeah, he was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to T. What the? Oh. Boy. All contestants are here for a genuine connection. Everybody got fine no love. Everybody got fine love, but bro, you could have waited four months. What's going on, your boy? Welcome days. back. It's the same part. another video. Way. Pop the balloon of fine love, episode five. Let's go. Got the fellas in the lineup. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, first off, shout out to T. He got the chain on. Jesus, peace in the middle. Our Lord and Savior, did you read your word today? All right. All these men looking classy, looking clean. Overdue. You feel me, fellas? Ladies gonna come out. If you see something you like, do not pop your balloon. If you hear something you don't like at any time. I ain't rock, I ain't rocking with uh homeboy uh Dewey. He got too much red on that Dewey. I wouldn't want to good, bro. I'm not interested in her. I don't like he what good? she's bringing to the table. No pun intended. Uh, pop your balloon. I'm gonna ask you why. Let me know. Keep it a buck. We can talk and converse and be respectful and still be honest at the same time. Yup. Sure. All right. All right. Hey, welcome back. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications on. All of that is absolutely free. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Episode 6 coming right at you right after this. I'm not taking no more breaks. We putting the pedal to the metal, and we're going to get right into it. Y'all ready? That's what I like Let's to hear. Hey, that's what I like to hear, T. Consistent content. Come on. Let's, Let's go. All right. All right. I know I stopped like five times already, but, you know, we got to ask the most important question. How many matches do you think are going to come out? This video is an hour and 18 long. But T's don't operate the same way our lets operate. Sometimes they be yapping and they actually do get a match. Sometimes they don't say nothing, they still get a match. So. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. I'm going to say two. I'm going to say two. She can't take two no more. One. One, the disrespect. It's time. We're going to bring out our first contestant, but we do things a bit differently here. You know what I'm saying? It's the first channel to ever do this. You know what I'm saying? If you see it somewhere else, just know I'm their daddy. Uh, Y'all go ahead and turn hey, around <laughs> for me, please. The contestant bad, will come out. She will introduce to... herself. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, say where she's from, age, what she do for a living, and all of that good stuff. And then you guys will turn around when I let you know. So don't no peaks, no cheating, none of that. Everybody got a balloon. You got your two peaks. You ready? Don't slip off that, that chair. All right. <laughs> contestant number one, come on out. How you doing? Hello. I'm gonna step up right, right next to me. Okay. Uh, name, age, what you do for a living? My name is Drea. I'm 35 years old and I work in finance and I also am an ambassador for my mom's clothing store, The Garment House. Okay, okay. Shout out Shameless to mom. Plug. I like that little family plug. business. Yep. That's love. Okay, um, what are Thank some you. things you into? What are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do? Um, I love running. I love going to the beach. La Playa? See, <laughs> <laughs> I love um, traveling. Okay. I love going to 
restaurants, like cool new restaurants. All right. um, and last but not least, before we have the guys turn around, what's one thing that's on your bucket list? Bucket mm. list? Um, Y'all already know what mine is. We ain't going to play no games. We know what it is. It involves a bird. A bird wearing a bandana. Bro. He been talking about this for like since Because like it's something I'm going to achieve. Bro, Do you believe in the vision or not? Bro, I'm not going to jail for you. You see that? I'm married I'm not, to her. She won't go to jail for me. I'm not going to jail for you. I'll go to jail for you. That's a lie. That is a lie. I'll go to jail for you. That's not even a hesitation. Now, just over also, something stupid like that. Nah, I will. Uh, huh? Nah, it's huh. not. First off, it's not stupid. It is. All right, you know we know. It is. Good. It's not stupid. Okay, it it's not stupid. I love it. I love it. You just don't see the vision, All right, fellas. Right now, <laughs> that's just that's really. Just around. say you don't believe. Like, just say you don't believe, bro. Like, and bro. Me contestant number one. Hello. <laughs> No pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's good. Is it valid? Oh. Okay. All right, here we pop. go. Oh, um, shoot. That's all good. Your sweater's nice. <laughs> all right, let's go down and uh, see wipe up. Uh, name, age, and what you do for a living? Um, um, my name's Slug Sosa. I'm 23, oh. and I'm I'm an entrepreneur. I have a business. Um, doing content, working, school, a lot of shit. So okay. Right, and why did you go. pop your balloon? Um, you seem like a nice girl, lady, but you probably too nice for me, oh. you know? Okay. All right. Well, um, are you into more like, like the, the mean type? And what do you mean too nice for you? Okay. Like, um, like jittery, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like white girl. Nice. If that's, okay. that, that ain't. What the, oh man. Oh. They the only ones that got a, that have the nice attribute, man. What? What does that mean? His name's Slug Sosa. I don't think we need to like really deep dive into what we think he's trying to break down. Like it just, <laughs> it's like keep going, you know, bro. Type okay. time. All right, um, white girl, nice. All right, uh, would this be someone if you seen him out? Like if he approached you, would you give him the time of day? Talk to him, in the chop back. it up. I would. Okay. Yeah, you you're pretty though. You're very pretty. Thank I like you. your skin tone, your dress. You you can't fly. I'm Thank fucking you. with it. Thank you. All right, though. All right, appreciate it. Come on, mm -hmm. let's uh, backpedal onto the I front. Can't. Um. All right. Wow. We didn't make it far. <laughs> pop pop. Right. <laughs> Name, age, and what you do for a living? Uh, Naji. Barber. Uh, I'm 34. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why'd you pop your balloon? Unfortunately, because she's older than me. Dang. Okay. You know, you normally date women like uh, younger than you. Yeah, traditionally. Okay. I. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Just traditionally. Yeah. What's your age range? You normally like of dating. Twenty-five, twenty-eight. Twenty-five Ooh. to twenty-eight. Yeah. Like, like normal. All right, man. Let me sit up. <laughs> Let me sit up. Yeah, but partner next to you. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, brother. I know. I that's, know. That sounds pretty crazy. That's huh? crazy. Okay. All right. Yeah. So other than other than the age, um, I'm not gonna lie. It's the blue hair. The blue hair. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of the like all that type of stuff. Even with the braids, I'm not really. Yeah, I don't really do. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Hair color? Yeah, no. Like when it's like blue, like orange. Mm -hmm. Now they got chameleon, all type of other shit, M3 <laughs> color, all type of other shit. When it's stuff like that, I just kind of steer away. He's working Sally's. <laughs> oh, nah, M3. Hey, shout out to Sally's, man. Sally, Sally's got a free plug. <laughs> they don't need it though. I feel like I feel like hair stuff like this. This is like this is something that you can easily. Easy it's not even her. It's not her real hair, so she can easily change the style. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like it does complement her outfit, so it does work out. So mm -hmm. I. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, <laughs> hey, it's, the, the what they do with hair nowadays is crazy. Like they really could do anything with nails and hair, and mm -hmm. but I just don't really be with it. Okay. Like it's just Same not. I don't, I'm shop. not saying it's ugly or nothing mm -hmm. like that, but I just personally don't really rock with it. Yeah. Right. It's, All right. This someone you find attractive or. You would like if you if you seen him out and he uh, approached you, would you give him the time of day? I would. I think he's dressed nice. Okay. I like the pants and the t 
t-shirt and yeah. You put it on. You, put, you should say you put that on. <laughs> Thank oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take it back to the room. Oh, bro, what's Dang. up? Why y'all wait until, all right. It's well, so uh, who was that, it was you? Okay, all right. Um, name, age, and uh, what you do for a living? Not you. Um, name's Wesley, I'm 28, and I have an embroidered business. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Why'd you pop your balloon, Wes? Um, the age gap. It's okay. like seven years. So, yeah, that's, the, Man, that's yeah, it's understandable. What age range do you typically date? I think, like, I think I'll do max five years apart. Okay. So that, yeah. So you do five years down, five years up, like, yes. that's, that's the range? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Other than age, is there someone you see, uh, see attracted? Like, yeah. if you saw her out and y'all were the same age around the same ballpark, would oh, yeah, you approach? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You're beautiful. All right. Thank How you, you feel about Wesley? I think he's handsome, too. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, we got three balloons left. Dang, that's crazy. So. Had a boot, got a Nike swoop on it. <laughs> I was trying to say something important, but. Uh, all right. uh, what's what's um, <laughs> some of your deal breakers in a relationship? Uh oh. And then uh, after you state that, we can go down and ask a question <laughs> for the guys. Um, sunglasses on a dating show. Are you good? <laughs> she said, How the boot got the Nike swoop? I'm sick. Okay, I'll let what you happen? Sunglasses on a dating show. Dang. Okay, I'll oh, let boy, you go. straight. <laughs> um, if you don't like dogs, because I have a dog, and I love dogs. What kind of dog you have? A Pomeranian. Okay. The best. Oh. Oh. Shout out to Max. <laughs> Max plug! I'm going to show him this video. The dog. Okay. Um, also, if you've been married before, and if you have kids. Sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Good. All right. All right, cool. And then uh, we got two balloons left. We're going to see why he popped, um, which I think I, I know why. Um, let's, let's let's go to him real quick. Name, okay. age, Jeez, name, age. What you do for a living? And uh, uh, Gary, thirty-four. I'm in healthcare. I'm a nurse. But why'd you pop? So if if we're talking about style, I, I can understand what you're saying. But you dress nicely as well. I like your nails, your toes, your outfit. But the only thing that's bugging me, if if you want to talk about me with the shades, is just the shred. Oh, he's gonna talk about the shredded the. That's her mom's. That's her mom's uh, design. Yeah, but that's that's a that's common. A, that's a common. My little... thing is, this is tit for tat, but this is a bad tit for tat because wearing shades indoors is just like that's like that's etiquette. You're not supposed to wear shades indoors. You're not supposed to wear hats indoors. It's like it's etiquette. It's proper etiquette. So, him taking this as a oh she coming from my outfit. It's not that. It's not that at all. It's. You're wearing shades indoors. Where are your manners? You get me? Or so, how about I can I see your face? Yeah. In a dating show. Yeah. So he 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 took it he took it a little too sensitive, bro. He talking about the he talking about the fringe on her dress and on her jacket. Yeah, she wasn't even coming for him like that. He took it too sensitive, bro. Damn. But you dress nicely as well. I like your nails, your toes, your outfit. But the only thing that's bugging me, if if you want to talk about me with the shades, is just the shredded denim. I'm not really digging that either. So if you're just going to be honest about fashion, then that's my critique on, on fashion. Just just wear a regular she's not crop top denim. She's not, criticizing your, he, see, she's not criticizing your fashion, gang. You're wearing shades indoors. That's like, bro, even even look in the top right. Look at homeboy. He like, bro, what is blood yapping about? Because it, it's like he's just he yapping about. Yeah, because he's just like, he's just talking, bro. Would probably look better on you, respectfully. Okay. You know? Thank you. All right. And Gary, um, besides the get glasses, if you saw him out with just someone, you'd be like, oh, he would get like a, a double look. I think that he is handsome. I just, I don't know why the guys wear the sunglasses on the dating show because you can't see their eyes. So, mm -hmm. but that's that's it. Okay. But other than that, everybody's handsome. I just want to let y'all know that. So All you right. did good. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. So do you have a, we got two balloons left. Do you have a question for the, the oh, two guys remaining? Oh, my gosh. Uh, can you tell me something interesting about yourself? All right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and something interesting about yourself. Okay. My name is Alcy. I'm 36, and um, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a songwriter, recording artist, podcast host, and radio personality. Okay. That's what you do for a living, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. That's what you do for I feel like she still wants something even right. more yeah, interesting. Yeah, like about you. Yeah. yeah. What's like, something someone doesn't know about you? Like that they couldn't just go to your your socials and, and you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um something somebody don't know about me. Put you on the spot. I'm big. I'm big. I'm a, I'm big on uh where I started like a couple years ago meditating. So okay. like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm into like nature, meditating, you know, grounding myself, putting my feet in the sand. You know what I mean? In the grass, you know. And when I tell people that, they, you know, people don't guess that about me. Okay. I love it. Different. Cool. That's shame. Yeah. Name, cool. age, what you do for a living, and something interesting about yourself. Open up to the camera. Let's see. Uh, my name is Akeem. I am 33. And what I do for a living, I'm self employed. I'm a personal trainer, also a private events uh, bartender. And uh, he got a one piece tattoo, so I'm not really rocking with him. But hey, you do your thing, bro. King. Let that man pass. I, just can't, I can't do it, bro. Like, let was, him pass. He was cool. He looked like a Tyler Perry cast character, and I just damn, I can't rock with the one piece what? tattoo. But hey, man, do your thing, dog. You don't stop doing that Tyler Perry thing on everybody. He don't look like the type that hit women. That's so it's like it's not an insult. Tyler Perry, he, he look, but he do pick a, a a good cast of male actors. Let's let's keep it a stack. Tyler Perry got some good male actors. Not everyone got to be a you know backhand in every scene. Some of them are really good. Like he like he like the businessman that keep trying to get the girl who don't understand how to find love. Yeah. And he got to constantly go through the whole movie. Yeah. Trying to he's show. Light her. Yeah. He. Sh uh, you said it, not me. I was yeah, just trying to keep it. Light skin. Uh, see, you see how you turn my easy compliment into something bigger than what it needs to be. It was a compliment. If it's a if any if any of these coming from Tyler Perry, I don't think it's a compliment because we know what he be doing. Tamla Man came from Tyler Perry. Premeditated. So did David Man. Every, everything is premeditated. Right. And look how that turned out. They father and son, but they're married. I mean, father and daughter, and they're married in real life. That's weird. It's a show. It's actors. I don't care, bro. Huh? interesting you about me, me I'd probably say that I'm really into the arts and one of the arts uh, styles that I really like is uh, Japanese animation so you'll find me on a weekend Saturday or Sunday I'm at the beach and just reading my favorite manga at the time yes sir mm -hmm. cool all right, all right cool okay. so um really quick we're gonna we're gonna keep it right here do you guys have a question for her I do. No, your balloon you, has been popped already. You ain't got already. no balloon, brother. What? You ain't got no balloon. Go ahead. What's wrong right. with Buddy? Would you like to hear his question, even though his balloon's popped? I will give you the, the decision That's on that one. It was at this moment he knew. I mean, not really. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, do y'all have a question for her? I know you said, you know, a man with kids is a deal breaker for you. Do you want kids yourself? Do you want to know if I had kids? Or do you assume that I... Mm. That I don't. That's a good question too. Nah, my original question. Okay. Do you want kids? I do. Okay. Mm. You have a question? I do. Okay. All right. You look very nice, by the way. Thank Just you. Let you, know. you too. Um, I think my question for you is: uh, you come off very stunning. You're 35, right? And Thank I just you. wanted to know what would be the reason why you're here on this dating show. Because I feel like if I were to see you on the street, I'm automatically assuming you're married and you had a happy husband at home. Oh, my so. gosh. What brings you here today? Um, that boy's... Why he mad, though? Why... <laughs> why, Barbara, why Barbara looking like, oh, did he just... <laughs> he and did. You, you had a happy husband at home. Oh, my so. gosh. What Thank brings you, you here today? Um, I haven't had a lot of luck. Okay. I'm looking for someone who has an active lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for someone who's emotionally available. Okay. I'm looking for, is, is this answering the question okay? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm also looking for like someone that's loyal, okay. um, someone that's confident, mm -hmm. and someone that is not afraid to dance. So based on my list, I haven't found like so all of it all in one boxes. yeah okay. and i just wanted to piggyback on something i was mentioned earlier do you have kids i do not you do not okay okay right. awesome yeah, i thought for a twist of that one a little bit <laughs> all right so just real quick since we're here i'm going to bounce your same question off of you so you can just answer your own question towards her why am i on the dating show mm -hmm. um what did buddy pop for they've been talking too long but i feel like they mesh way better um yeah i pretty much did the same thing i haven't found anybody that check off my boxes so i'm um, stepping outside of my boxes is not something i would typically do i like the more of a in person if i'm walking somewhere and i meet someone i compliment them trying to get their name number and then go from there but uh figured i'd do something different okay mm -hmm.
Right. Let's go back and see why uh, this gentleman popped. Um, what happened in that short period of time that made you want to pop your balloon? Um, I think uh, as far as like hearing uh, what she's looking for mm -hmm. um, or why she hasn't found it, I feel like I, I don't know, kind of going back to also when I said what I do, you know, I feel like it wasn't like a good like reaction to it. Huh? You know, uh -huh. just as far as like my entrepreneurship. That wasn't her question. She didn't ask you what you did. She asked you what is something unique about you. So of course she didn't have a positive reaction to your answer because you didn't answer her question. <laughs> That's like me going, hey Alex, how you feeling today? You know, so anyway, these are these are these are some nice sweats right here. I, I like to uh, label them. They're the new Fubu design. Uh, you feel me? And then it's like, why are you telling me about your clothes? I just asked you. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you're not answering what I asked you. I'm doing fine, by the way. <laughs> just fine, peachy. It's like you didn't answer her question. <laughs> um, and then the kids thing. You know, it's kind of like. When I asked about it, I feel like, you know, you threw it back. You wasn't like being like straight up, you know, kind of when I asked ask. you, like, do you have kids? And then you was like, do you want to, you know, you kind of changed the question a little bit. Well, no, you, you, didn't you ask asked her uh, if, she, if, she, if she wanted kids. Yeah. 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 So if she wanted kids and then she like, how do you know I don't already have kids? And then, right. Like, yeah. Right. Right. That's right. It. You said still my original question. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. kind of like a straightforward person. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like if I ask a question. He is not being straightforward <laughs> at all. My boy been tap dancing this whole conversation. What are you talking about, sir? My boy, did, he did two-step through the whole conversation. A two-step. You know, you asked me back with a question. I don't know, I think that's kind of like playing games a little bit. What? That's just me. Okay. What? Okay. All right. Um, let's come on in. All right, so. You still have your balloon. Do you have any other questions? I know you're up here to meet someone. Are you looking to find love or are you just looking, are you just looking to find love or are you wanting to get married and have kids? All of the above. Okay. All right. You got um, any, any questions for her? Uh, my question, no, I don't. At this present time, uh, would you guys, would, would, would you, see him as a match and potentially want to go out on a date, get to know each other a little more, go a little further, get to know each other? I, so do you live here? I do live in Miami. I live in Virginia. Okay. Are you opposed to long distance? I am. Okay. Well then. Uh, <laughs> I got all to. All right. Hey. I get to pop. <laughs> hey, all the pop the balloon hosts, if you watch this reaction, I know y'all don't, but how about y'all start uh, making people announce where they reside in at the start so yeah. we don't sit there and do all this to get to this result? Yeah. I got to pop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, sorry we couldn't uh, find you a match today. Um, maybe I'll come to the DMV soon and I'll shoot a pop the balloon or find love up in the D.C., Maryland slash Virginia area and uh, maybe we can find you a match then. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you so much. Thanks, guys. All Thank right. you. Let me get that mic Close. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Close, Appreciate but you. no cigar. <laughs> How do you feel about the lineup? Um, everybody was handsome. Everybody came dressed nicely. Um, yeah, I think they prepped very well. Can we see the whole fit? Because one of them made a Oops. comment about your uh, the jacket or the denim oh. hanging. I absolutely loved oh, it. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and who was your favorite guy in the lineup? Um, probably the host. the last guy, and then that that one too. The last guy with the hazel eyes, and then the guy with the star sweater. Maybe we have better luck this go around. All right, uh, contestant number two, come on out, please. Here is your mic, name, age, and what you do for a living. Come on, Stan. My name is Jordan. I'm 31 years old, and for a living, I'm a music artist. I work at a music school and a nonprofit for kids. Okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. Shout out to uh, the what kids. What kind of music do you do? R&B, hip-hop. All right. Rob, pop. Rob. Good, good. What's two or three deal breakers in a relationship? <laughs> um, I would say one deal breaker would be if you have kids, if your relationship is not handled. Okay. So they can mm. have kids, but you just want them to have a, a handled relationship. Absolutely. Can you, can you put a, a brief definition on handled? <laughs>
True. The definition simple. Yeah. Is your baby mama going to call at 2 p.m. cussing you out because your baby ain't got no diapers? Or uh, have you been have you been able to successfully ass- attend all of your uh, your son's soccer games? Are you present in their life? If you say, I want to go pick up my kids this week, do you got a fist fight before y'all get the kid? Or do please got to get involved? It's very simple. And are you still messing with your baby mama on the yeah. side? <laughs> that part. <laughs> I know, because I never thought of how to say it. But right. just basically that you have a good cordial relationship. You know, the better you guys are as co-parents, the better it is for the kids, the better it is for the family. Okay. So, so no baby mama drama. Right. Or minimal. Because sometimes it comes with drama. That's life. But mm-hmm. if it can be, you know, respectfully dealt with, you know, where I don't have to be involved or mm-hmm. anything like that. Okay. What do you like doing for fun? <laughs> for fun, I make music. <laughs> Honestly, I really do enjoy making music. And the fact that I can make money from it is a plus. Um, the fact that I do make money from it is a plus. Um, outside of music, for fun, um, I'm an adventurous person. Yeah, um, I like to do Anything that's fun. I'm a fun person, so wherever I go, I'm going to do my best to have fun while I do it. You okay. know, anything that's fun. Right. Make me laugh. Make you laugh. That sounds great. All right, guys, I'm going to have you turn around and meet contestant number two. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Damn. All right. Mm-hmm. Dang. What? We got two pops. We're going to go up and see why these uh, men pop. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. My name is Alsi. My name is Alsi. I'm 36. Uh, I'm also a recording artist, writer, uh, podcast host. Y'all on the same page, kind of do the yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That don't I mean, mean yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I'm more so like, you know, I try not to, in my field, not date, seriously date in my field. Okay. I, I told you. It's the same thing uh, the last dude said. And one thing I get it with the music of like I know how serious the music industry can get, and I wouldn't want my partner to already be like a solo in like I wouldn't want my female partner to be a solo endeavor mm-hmm. in the music industry. But mm-hmm. then again, I guess we in twenty twenty four we got to say for the males too because y'all be going through some stuff too, man. Hey, I'm sorry to hear it, but when it comes down to content creation and podcasting and stuff like that. There's a disconnect for me on that one because it's like, are you are you afraid of competition? Like the the podcasting world is not at the point where we like we got shady undergoings in the podcast field and stuff like that. I think he's only talk, talking about music specifically. Yeah, yeah. In this scenario, because they both do music. Yeah, yeah. Try to keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? And I've done it. It hasn't worked. I was about to ask you, is that yeah. something you've done before? I've done it before. I've what done were some it. of the dilemmas? What, what was the... <laughs> Man, um, bumping heads. Just, um, you know, we have artists. We do got strong personalities, you know. So sometimes we, you know, we in the forefront of things. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, your counterpart, when they do the same thing, they don't know when to fall back sometimes. Mm. Okay. You know, so I've encountered that a lot. And... You know, like I said, it's been more successful when I've had business relationships in my field than a romantic relationship. More successful, more productive. More productive. Okay. Um, have you ever things get in the way? They get, you know what I'm saying? Once Dang, you okay. get emotionally involved with someone in your business. I thought he was about to. I, I thought T was about to ask a good question. <laughs> my boy kept going. All right. No, no. All right, man. And you know what I'm saying? They be, you know, they want to come on set and you know what I'm saying, tear shit up. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, well. Have you ever dated in your field before? Slightly. Like someone that does something that you've done? Slightly. How did that work out? Or did it work? It was fine. It, nothing about being in the same industry was the issue. If anything, that made it better because mm-hmm. there's more understanding there. Okay. There's more ability to compromise there. Okay. You know? right. You're not jealous because you know what comes with being an artist or an entertainer or somebody who works with a lot of the opposite sex. You know? Yeah. Is this someone you would uh, be attracted to if you saw him out and he approached you? Probably not. Um, why not? What, what about him? I'm just not physically attracted to him. All right. What about him physically? Are you not uh, attracted to? Um, I like guys that are usually like my height or taller. Okay. How tall are you? Really taller, like 5'7 without heels. Okay. So you did what, what, what around like, what's, what's like the cutoff? Like 5'11. 5'11? 5'10 is like a stretch. Okay. i am be honest. All right. <laughs> All right. How tall are you? 5'9. Okay. All right. All right. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. 
Okay. Oh. So if she's five seven without heels, and that looks like that's about is that like two? Is that two or three? That's uh, I say it's I'll say like two. I say like two. I'll give it. Two I'll give it a half. bonus two and a half. So right now she would be sitting at five nine five ten right now. Um, looking at his eyes to her eye ratio. Buddy lying. He like he like at most he's like five seven. Like he's like at most five seven five eight. He's yeah. not. He's not. No. It's like the cutoff. Like five eleven. Five eleven. Five ten is like a stretch. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. All right. <laughs> All right. I told you. Five nine. Okay. All right. Yeah, he, he's All like right. five eight All five right. seven. Come on now. Um, Hey, step back, hey. back, back, right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon? Najee, 34, and I'm a barber. Okay. Why'd you pop? Um, I just didn't see it as a match when, once she said she was in the music industry, mm -hmm. and like just for all the things she just explained why it could be, why it could help, would be probably the reason why it would hinder for me. Okay. So yeah. why her being in the music industry? Why is that a red flag for you? Um, not to say that it's like a red flag. It's more to say like I need a woman that just has more time for me. Mm -hmm. Honest, like I, it's not like it's no knock on it. I'm not saying she's a hoe or anything like that. I'm just I know what it entitles. You got to blood, sweat, and tears. And if you're not already where you want to be, you got to put the sacrifice in. And that is I, a fact. I'm gonna come second. Okay. Not necessarily second, but that is a fact. You do have to put a lot of time and effort. Okay. Um, is this someone you would be attracted to if you saw him out he approached you? Perhaps. Perhaps. All right. And besides He's a good the... looking guy. Okay. And besides the work and what she does for a living, if she didn't do that, if she was... What do you like? I mean, she's a nice woman. She seems like a nice girl. But... Yeah, that would be a deal breaker date one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be right. it. Okay. All right, All right buddy. Interesting. Interesting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like what's the in the, in the no, interest? No, it's, it's just interesting because you know he said from day one that mm. would be an issue without even actually getting a chance to see what my lifestyle is actually like. Right. Because to see what your day to day is. Right. Because right. there are different types of artists. There are artists that work behind the scenes mm -hmm. that write, and that's some of the things I do. Mm -hmm. And then there's artists that are always having to be outside. Touring on stage. I do right, both. So, so just before we even get into more uh, premature pops, uh, mm -hmm. what kind of artists are you? Like, how, how, what's your day-to-day -day or your week-to-week? -week? What's, what's your work? Okay, good, good like question, T. Good question. Um, well, one of the things I do is I do some voiceover work. So sometimes I have like an hour mm -hmm. I have to go record. Mm -hmm. And then another time I'll be working on my own catalog. So I'll probably do that once or twice a week when I'm in motion. And then if, if I'm promoting something, I might have a video one day. But these are all things that are time blocked. You know, okay. you make your schedule how you see fit. And then there's mm -hmm. other times that I'm just behind the camera doing sync work where it's like for TV and film. So I'm not outside like that. I'm just kind of writing, you know, or doing demos for other people to sing. It just really depends. So there's no like set in stone way that you can kind of know how an artist is going to be unless you know what kind of work they're actually doing. Everybody's right. an artist nowadays. Right. Yeah. And no, I, I agree with her on that one. And that goes even to content creation. Uh, it wasn't until we, we really start getting to con content creation. You never realize how much like, how much... How much you get done in such a short period of time, mm -hmm. and then like when you finally finish it, you kind of like. What else do I do? <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> yeah. You know, but there's different tiers to it. There's levels to this. There's levels. <laughs> All right, perfect. There are levels. All right. Well, come on. Let's see why he popped. Uh, name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. Uh, my name is Slug Sosa. I'm 23. Um, or oh, what I do, I'm an entrepreneur, I go to school, I do music, I'm gonna be Everybody doing content very soon, so. Actually do. <laughs> yeah. Everybody says Everybody entrepreneur, says entrepreneur. But nobody says like what they actually do as an entrepreneur. You sell shoes, you. It's because a lot of them are like, a lot of, not saying him, okay? So uh -huh. we're gonna separate him because I already took a jab at his slug social name. I don't want people to think I'm beefing with the dude. But uh, I'm going to say a lot of people like, they'll be like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a creative. And it's like, okay, the reality is like, oh, I just do like videos on Instagram or 
you know, I do nails or, you know, like I, I sell nails, not do nails. Right. I sell nails. So I feel like entrepreneur is just a, 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 it's a nice little button you get to put on your vest to make your, whatever you're doing seem like shiny. I feel like it now, I feel like it's not because like even during like our whole, you know, lockdown situation that we had a couple years back. That's what everybody was coming out with. Like, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Everybody getting the PPP loans and all that other kind of stuff. But it's like... No, those are scammers. Those well, you know, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. But, <laughs> no, but there, there were some people that weren't scamming that actually opened up a business and did it. But it's like, okay, you're an entrepreneur, but what do you do as an entrepreneur? And that, yeah, that we're saying the same thing. That's what I'm saying. It's a shiny... Entrepreneur is just a shiny button word. You get to stick on your chest to it's, say like, yeah, it's oversaturated because I need to know what you do. Yeah, yeah, that's the point of the yeah, yeah. We're saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, the reason why I popped the balloon was, um, yeah, you rap and you say you like to have fun. What Who the said fuck? I, rap? I mean, you make music, right? Let them slide. 23. Yeah, you rap and you say you like to have fun. Who said I rap? I mean, you make music, right? <laughs> oh, you make music. Everybody look at him like, what? Okay, and your set and be turned, it be, it be lit. You be lit. What? What? When you say lit, like, lit. what exactly are you getting? The, the age gap the is The age showing. gap is it's showing, showing tremendously. bro. I'm so scared for how our kids are going to talk. With the with the slang that's gonna be out in that time, my kids gonna be on hooked on phonics. Yeah, hooked on phonics got got slang in it now. It got slang in it now. Shorty has the gat. Tommy said, "This Again, is over, bro. We're cooked. We're, uh, we're cooked, bro. Like we're just like you get on my nerves. Our gen like the generations after. It's only gonna get worse, bro. Litness. Um, like you know how to have fun. You know how to like." Like I'm a baller, I'm a, I'm a baller light in the room. So how I see it, if you one of those, I wouldn't want to get intimate on that type of timing with you, because of the, I don't know. I feel like it gets in the way of real friendship. So it's like you're a ball you know, of light in the room. So, so you're saying you be too much of the same? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. You feel yeah. like you'd be competing for not really competing. Energy. Yeah, not competing for energy. It's more on the time of like. I I I want to see how you vibe, what your energy like, how you turn up, cause I'm I like to have fun, and then you older than me, so it's like imagine if me and you in a relationship or something like that. I don't need no second mama. You know what I'm look saying? at look at T's face. What are you talking about? Look at T's about, face, bro? just looking at buddy. Look at everybody. Look at everybody in the room face. Look at her. She got the huh. These two over here laughing at him. T looking at him like he. Like, so was, the, what I'm getting from this is he's a ball of light. He's a crash out in the club. And he don't want nobody telling him, like, uh-uh, get off the table. You doing too yeah, much. Yeah, like, maybe he, his yeah, energy he, is, he, he. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, so. No, no second what? Second mama. I'm so saying. you assume that because a woman is older than you, that she's <gasps> going to act like your mom? I mean, off experiences, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. They don't, they don't, they don't really, like care about their young age or whatever oh. so they be trying to grow them up too quick oh. not letting them experience life wow that you know, sounds predatorial a little wow i'm not a predator at all but yeah, no nah, it's cool disclaimer <laughs> hold on that, that laugh was kind of scary that was that uh hey, no. that was that politician laugh <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to invade your country <laughs> We're not going to do it. We're not bombing anymore. No, we're not. <laughs> what, did, what, did, what did Kamala Harris say? <laughs> After they tried my food, everybody wanted me to cook for them. <laughs> you are feeding me lies, gang. You are a politician. Shut up. Politician. I, I don't think she's a predator. No, nah, no, I don't think so either. But that was that. That, that was. We that, not, that laugh was. We do not believe you, gang. <laughs> You about to tell me that my taxes finna be lower. Next thing I know, inflation gonna hit three times. Not a Stop playing with me at all. But <laughs> no, no, look, cool. disclaimer. <laughs> we did it, Joe. <laughs> we did it. Look. Wow, I'm not a predator at all. But yeah, no, that's cool. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Joe. We did it. 
Nah, but nah, I'm tired, yeah, bro. If you, if you a vibe and you fun, you know. I'm the type. I'm, tired. I'm gonna say you get your group, I get my group, and let's go have fun and turn up and be outside. So nobody ain't no feelings, no animosity, no extra energy in the mix, you know. That's I don't really know, but I, I respect everything you're saying. Okay. This is but, this right here is the prime example of the generate like the the generational gap this disconnect is so heavy right now oh. he tried he in his mind everything he said made perfect sense <laughs> to everybody else everybody confused bro but there's a, a 19 year old or 17 year old or 16 year old kid that heard him say all this and they understood everything he was trying to say <laughs> so just um by first glance would this be someone you find attractive if you saw him out um if yeah. he approached you yeah, I mean, he's you're a handsome guy. You're cute. I don't think I would just because I could tell that you're young, um, and I like men my age older. So, okay. no, but you seem like a nice young man. You're in school. That's great. Stay in school. <laughs> you know. Please stay in school, bro. All right, awesome. All right, let's backpedal it to the front. What did I say? No, no, no. no. What happened? You had a giggle? Okay, I just yeah because. <laughs> Come on back, come in, come on. She said it was interesting, and she like did the mother thing right there. Did like, I? She was like, oh, you're in school, okay. Because I wouldn't. Like, what? My dog, was... That's not a mother thing. If anything, that's called pity. That was a pity response. And she, <laughs> she, gave him, she gave him grace by just saying like, I, I'm going to acknowledge that I didn't understand crap you just said, but I'm sure you're a good person, so... You know, do your thing. Yeah. She she just gave him the, the do your thing lob. The, the barber and him, y'all probably, hey, man. Oh, you're in school. Okay. Because I wouldn't. <laughs> My dog also says he's an entrepreneur. He do music. You just bypassed all that and went straight to mommy. Mode I didn't with. bypass it. I just complimented him for being in school because being in school Whatever. is a decision you have know, to make. Just, oh, it just, <laughs> it just got Bro, yo, T. Ain't entrepreneur. T. He ain't said what he do. T. You just let you just let him hold a potential match for her, <laughs> and then the fact that Dewey in the back, he was already a crash out, right? But the fact that him saying that was enough to convince him, like, oh man, you just opened my eyes right now, boy. If we was in the medieval ages, bro, I could convince all y'all to drink from a poison well and it would take no effort. I would just, it wouldn't <laughs> take no effort at all, dog. I would tell y'all, hey, if you drink this potion, this, 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 this well right here, bro, it gets you the huzz. It gets you all of them. And y'all flip head first in that mug. This is just stupid, bro. Life comes at you fast. Wow. And then the uh -huh. Tyler Perry done popped. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man. It's like All a right. dagger to my heart. All right, come on, let's step back. Um, and we're coming right back to you. Um, <laughs> name, age, uh, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. The audacity. Mm. But continue. <laughs> the fact that you didn't really see that is insane. You, did, you didn't even see that. Hold on. We might have a fraud that fast, y'all. Hold on. Dagger to my Watch this. It just got <laughs> You open my eyes. I've come back to you. You just now figured that out, gang. Nah, hold on, y'all. Alright, bro. First off, bro. First off. Alright, y'all. We got the first ever do-rag fraud. This is just this this right here. You 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 you're dumb. I'm just, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You're dumb. Jesus loves you, but you're dumb. You're really just, you just what? dumb. I just don't got words because they. there's no way you tried to like philosophically, the fact that you didn't notice that 30 seconds ago. Oh, you just made me notice that. But, no, but nobody's getting on him for not listening to what she actually does. He assumed that she raps. Oh my God. Yeah, right. I was like, okay. Nah, bro. Nobody checked nah, or said bro. nobody said nah, anything. Nah, bro. It's the three stooges in one video, bro. Just stupid. Bro. Why you popped your balloon? You got slow shady, freaking fuzzy Mike, 
and you got Dewey, Dewey the Slugger Johnson, just <laughs> stupid together, bro. Just, just, and then you somehow convinced Tyler Perry to pop. <laughs> Look at him, just like he trying to, like he trying to say something philosophical. I'm sorry. Wow. The audacity, mm. but continue. <laughs> the fact that you didn't really see that is insane. What? <laughs> but. Me? Okay. I didn't see it? So, um, wow. I'm 34. I'm getting... You 34? I wouldn't be able to tell. Y'all, y'all older generation, y'all cook too, bro. There's no hope. Mm -hmm. Us 96, 97 babies, we, we've been screwed from the start, bro. Our older people are stupid and our younger people are stupid. Oh, we're cooked. I ain't good. We're cooking. Gary, man. I'm in healthcare. He's in healthcare. Oh my God. He's a nurse. He's so a you nurse. helping people's lives with this level of thinking? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a nurse. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a nurse, registered nurse. But the reason why I pop my balloon is because at first, I know you personally. I know your vibe. Your Low energy. key. Low key. <laughs> I love your world that you're in, Aww. the music industry. Me too. You know, Thank so you. I'm in that creative world too, so I can relate. But the fact that Najee opened my mind to you. Huh? Huh? You know, every day I, I see the culture, right? I see how we talk and how we operate. I think Malcolm X was right. I think Martin Luther King Martin Luther King had the right concept for like, I feel like if we would have went the Malcolm X route, <laughs> I feel like black people as a overall would have went a more intellectual route. I feel like that's why they killed Malcolm so quick. Now I don't, I'm not Islamic. So that's a dis disconnect for me, but I feel like Martin Luther King probably got the memo or something too late and didn't get a chance to really fix it. Cause we are we are blown in the U.S., boy. Denying that you have that mom energy, and then you 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 give it you give it back is like denial. I never said I didn't have it. I just said I wouldn't well, you, have it necessarily. To not say you do have it is the same thing as saying you don't have it. In my opinion, that's me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Like if you withhold if you withhold information, then it's like that's on you. That's not on me. I don't know what you withhold, bro. I can't even. And he's snapping in the back. Hey, I'm gonna keep it a band, bro. I'm um, sorry, ladies. Uh, the scale has just been flipped. Uh, men, y'all just fumbled because this is this is this is stupidity. So I'm gonna deduct five percent for each male in this lineup that is agreeing <laughs> with this. So five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We ended the scale off. It was women were at 70%. It's their fault. Um, we're going to subtract that and give that to the men's side. Congratulations, women. It is now only 40% your fault that relationships are the problem. Thanks to this video. Um, don't be mad at me. I just do the numbers, guy. <laughs> like, don't be mad at me. I, I understand you guys are trying to win out the season, men, but... Come on, if any if, if I see any comments in here trying to justify this, you are part of the problem. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be sure to let you know. Like this is your fault. Say you do have it is the same thing as saying you don't have it. In my opinion, that's me. The stupidity is spreading to the dude in the back and it's clicking with him now. Like if you withhold if you withhold information, then it's like that's on you. That's not on me. I don't know what you you telling me what you what you want me to know. So that's the only reason why I pop <laughs> she my is so perplexed. Other than like that, what? you fly, you cool, you got to do a little uh, spin real quick. Y'all no love spin. letting people spin. Do a little I'll spin. I'll spin when we not on camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she, matter of fact, she just threw it right back because you just let a dude who popped on you and quote unquote rejected you on camera convince you to give him a 360 when y'all off camera. So guess what? The scale went right back up. It's now 50-50. This ma'am just messed it up for everybody. But that's Pop it. Go on stupid and pop it. That's stupid how we not spin on the camera. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yeah. Oh. Bullet. Go on and spill it. Bullet, bullet. Pop it. But that's my, that's my reason. You, other than that, you're a very attractive person to me. Thank it's you. It's just uh, the concept. Like, I'm a man on principle and just... just oh, no, he's yapping. He's yapping. He's yapping. All right, we're going to get past, yeah. buddy. Just gave kind of like the motherly vibes. Do you agree or disagree? What's your uh, rebuttal kind of response to that? Well, my response to that is I can understand why you feel that way based on what Najee, or is it Najee? What Najee said. I could. No, 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 yeah, well, you no. did pop it up. This no, is your no, fault. No, yeah, so shut up. We gotta be. We hey. gotta be honest here. Let's keep it a book. It's it's not that because what he said was that me being older, he has experience with other women where that if they're older, they give off a motherly vibe. And all I said was, hear me. Just because she's older. You think they automatically have a motherly vibe, and I and I didn't say I didn't confirm or deny that I did or didn't. Please, I can't but listen to him talk. He's speaking broken parables, dog. Not that I didn't notice that he was an entrepreneur or in the music industry. It's just that I it stuck out that he's in school to me because I went to school when I was 24. He's 23, so I commend that because mm -hmm. usually people graduate by 22, 23, 24. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's like you don't have to be in school. I actually look at that more. More power to you. More power yeah. to you. I know people that's 30 something in school. That's not easy. When you and then, yeah. then y'all whispering and key keying in the ear. You got bills and kids or right. family. You know what I mean? So I look at that as like, that's a big deal to me. So it's unfortunate that Mr. Gary here felt the need to pop based on that. Mr. Gary is crazy. Um, well, he had his hand raised. Let's come down and, um, and see. see what you had to say. Go ahead. Um, specifically, not to say like this situation, but um, women, older women, it's like, Y'all have natural tendencies. Y'all have, okay. um, yeah, Women tendencies to think, do certain things, you know. Um, and I know a lot of stuff that I don't even think a lot of people know, but it's like I can tell. Like, I read energy so quick. So, um, Martin Luther King was wrong. He was he's wrong. Say, he, I, he's saying that older women have natural tendencies. Any any woman of any age has natural tendencies because we're the natural. You guys mature faster. Yeah. Which is a scientific fact. The brain they they mature faster, which is fine, but it's just. And I'm very intelligent, and people don't just because I'm young, they overlook that, you know, my wisdom. So like, I had a, a older girlfriend or whatnot. How much older? If you don't mind us asking. I think she was like. Um, 27. Okay. 27, You 28. ain't no business taker! Um, Four years. I mean... Five years. I was 21 at the time, though. Oh, bro! Oh, my gosh. That, She's that, still in her 20s. Oh, my gosh. You're comparing a 27-year-old's tendencies to a 30-year-old? A 35-year-old's? Yes, yeah, I still think it's dumb because, like, you throw you you're throwing that that like motherly vibe on somebody because of their age. You threw a motherly tendency on a 27 year old. Yeah, bro, like that's weird. Like remember people used to tell me like, oh, um, uh, you give off motherly vibes, and I was like 19, 20. I'm like, me telling you to be responsible is not being motherly, motherly vibe. That's me trying to look what? out for you. Be like, stop being stupid. I guess and be responsible. I guess using your brain and having a code of morals or common sense is what we define as motherly vibes. Because we're not telling older men that they out here giving father. No, okay. you know, six years. Some women do I mean, it. That's all right. Okay. It, it, it's so just the fact the that they are losing they brain cells. Superior in certain cases, thinking that they know it all. That is a fact. I've seen you know what I'm saying? I have okay, seen that. Okay, I guess. That's what it is. realize where I done met people who it's like their spirit is like young. They what old, but they spirit young. So it's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. they, it clash. It clashes with it. They don't want to accept knowledge and want me to accept it. So it's like, I don't it's like know. Age, I'm very stand up on a lot of things too. So Interesting. How you feel about that? I don't feel anything about okay. Bro said, he said, preach. What is happening? What just happened? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm, bro, I'm, this whole, this all this around is that's his, that's his experience. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. I'm glad that he's 
perceptive right. and knows that he wants someone that's not older. That's good. I don't want someone that's too much younger. So, I so what's your that. cutoff like as far as? Um, I did date someone younger than me once, and he is right. There are certain things that it's like, oh, I know you got to kind of, like, go through certain things before. Like, I wouldn't Growing say anything. Pains. Yeah, like, I wouldn't say anything, but I would feel it in my yeah, spirit, deep yeah, down. You answer the question. How young? <laughs> bro, you oh! not, bro, bro, this lineup is cooked. This lineup is cooked, T. They're yeah. cooked, bro. None of these men need to have matches. None of them. These are these are failed experiments, bro. Put them back in the experiment six two six. Yeah, put them back in the tube, bro. Put them back. <laughs> close it. Let's let's ship it off to uh, Honolulu. Honolulu. They'll do some 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 <laughs> fire god sacrifices to oh, it, bro. Bro, because we this is not this is not by Yahweh. Yahweh ain't make this one. It's so dramatic. It's <laughs> it's Honolulu. just like the fire god. Yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a uh, this is needs to be another another groups of people's problem like uh, this. Uh, so they don't want our problems. Somebody got to take the lob. I volunteer for the Samoan community. No, you guys have had a great season. You guys have been undefeated for the past thirty generations. I think it's time. You guys already started saying the n word, so you might as well <laughs> let's let's pass this on. Y'all can we'll give you only certain groups, bro. But, We'll throw in some of our kinder black women to even it out. Shut up. But this guy, we can't, we can't, we gotta, we gotta start repairing. We gotta oh, fix, I, we gotta fix the cancer from within. Be quiet. How young? I, that's I what I'm saying. I'm getting so there, if you would allow me. So um, yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I think the youngest at my age now, I just wouldn't. I don't think I would go, I don't think I would go any lower at this point. You didn't answer the, the regular, how, how younger was the guy? At the oh, how younger was he? Yeah. Um, like four years. Four years? Like four years. Okay, four years younger. Cause you, it kind of threw me off that when he had said. Six. Six, you were like, oh, that's like, you kind of like gave that attitude like. Uh, that's not that different. Yeah. That's not? Not right. to me. Six years, that's like. If, not to me. If they in 12th grade, what grade how much? Uh-uh, wait a minute. Ain't he 34 and he said he want a girl that's in her 26 or 27s? Yeah, 25 to 29. We are in a conversation paradox. How are you judging her? Because she said four to six years, but you want a girl that's like seven years. Yeah. I'm not going off of the uh, underaged element. I'm going off of the adults and only. Say that uh, for the record. We'll agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah. On this, on this <laughs> well, I ain't so, looking at you if you anywhere near 18. The was okay? Yeah, you got to okay. be at least okay. 22 oh, and so up. Mark, okay. 22? Okay. I'm not talking about at my age now. I'm talking about back then when I was oh, in my okay. 20s. I wasn't dating nobody. Yeah. Under, even if I was like 26, I wasn't going below 22. Just because no. I know right, that's cool. we're well, still let's at come down here and uh, Name, age, where you from and why you popped your balloon. Uh, my name is Akeem. Age is 33. Uh, I live, I'm from Toronto, but I live here in Miami. Um, I'm a self-employed. I'm a personal trainer and a private events bartender. And um, first... You know, it just clicked in my mind, bro. This the way that conversation broke down is like it's like a dude being attracted, a 19 year old guy being attracted to like a 15 year old girl, and then another guy walks in the room. He's mm -hmm. 20 years old and he's attracted to a 14 year old girl, mm -hmm. and the 19 year old goes, "Bro, you're weird." <laughs> it's yeah, like, and it's the same thing. It's like, the same Y'all are both weird. <laughs> Y'all are both weird. That's the same thing. Y'all both are sick. I think you're gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Great personality. Thank you. Uh, the reason why I popped my balloon is uh, shared with some of the men here. It's just like I feel like your business is something that would take a lot of time. And then you did explain it. Um, so I'm glad I didn't pop right away. But even with your explanation, I felt like, you know, that's that's a lot of work. And um, which is amazing. I just feel that with my business and your business, I don't really see us seeing each other that much. Mm. And I like to, um, I like to come home and see my wife. Mm. He said wife, meaning ladies. He ready. He ready. <laughs> ready, ready. I like that. That's, That's good. That's a promo. Um, How do you feel about this? Somebody you'd be attracted to if you saw him out? Yeah. How do you feel about his uh, attractive. response as far as your career and, and all of that? Um, I mean, I, I do understand why people have that preconceived notion about being a musician or being an artist, mm. especially being a, a woman in the music industry. Um, it can be 
time consuming, but it is also about boundaries. It's not the way it used to be in the 90s. Like, yeah. Yeah. you can actually... Work-life balance. All yeah, that. you can make it work. Like, I can decide to not work on Saturdays if I wanted to, right? right. Of course, I'm going to miss opportunities, but if I want to, that's my prerogative. Right. So I think it just depends on who you're dealing with, not what they do that you're dealing with. Right. Right. That's all. Right. Um, but I don't, I don't see anything wrong with having that um, assumption. It's normal. Um, I would naturally have that assumption if I didn't know any better, mm -hmm. right? But I think that's the key to when you get to know somebody and get to know their lifestyle. You get to see how they really are despite what they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. All right. Let's go back and see why. Yeah, Gary. Uh, I first got pop. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon? Um, Wesley, I'm 28, and I have an embroidered business. Um, the reason I popped is the same thing as everybody said. Um, the the in the music industry because I, I did videos before like um, skits and stuff and then just like me dating other people they can't handle that and I, I literally got out of it and then I'm starting to like to realize that yeah it's like you have to really be like you have to really stick by that because you're, you're assuming everything there's there and there's stereotypical things that happen like you know they might you know do things behind the scenes you don't know so it's just a lot of things so are you projecting your experience to what I could possibly do because of things that happened with you in your relationship? She's asking, are you projecting your experiences? Uh, no. The fact that we have to have a, a, a dumb it down translator is crazy. Right? <laughs> I respect it. You know what? I'm going to challenge everybody that's watching this video. Let's read a chapter of a book this week. Let's let's start. Let, uh, let's let's do the let's do the word of the day. What is the word of the day? Dictionary. Word of the day. Huh? What is the word of the day? Let's see, guys. So we go. It's, it's going benign. Oh, all right. I like that word. Uh -huh. Benign. What does benign mean? All right, y'all. So benign, gently and kindly, guys. This is the word of the day. Let's start expanding our vocabulary. Let's start reading some books. Let's get this education system. You know, let's fix what it didn't teach us, man. Cause we are cooked. I'm just saying, I just know what can happen with other other people. I'm not projecting, I'm just saying, like, I don't even want to even, like, I want to prepare for that. So just, like, just not even get to that point. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were going to hit it with an interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not that interesting. Okay. It's, um, it's pretty common at this point. All right. And then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Besides the career, would this be someone you would be attracted to or approach if you were out? Um, sorry, uh, how, old you, how, how old are you again? I'm 31. 31? Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, that'll be somebody I would definitely approach. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How about you? Um, I don't really. Well, you mean like if he approached me? Yeah, I mean, I would, give him, out. I would give him energy. Mm -hmm. I would. Okay. I'll give him some energy. <laughs> you know? All right. Well. <laughs> Got all, all the balloons teeth. are pop. We got all the teeth. Got all teeth. Everybody here got their teeth. I appreciate that. Blessings. Thank you. They're all real. Yeah. Also, no chiclets. Um. Mm. Well, all the balloons are popped. I'm sorry we couldn't find you at mass today. Maybe next time. Hey, whatever God has for me. Amen. <laughs> Only we did it, Joe. We did it, bro. We do it. Won't he? Preach. <laughs> Let me get that mic above. Oh, you want it back? Please. Take it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Please relax, guys. I'm just a host. Uh, I think the lineup was That's decent. Crazy. Nothing major from what you would see if you go out on a regular night in South Florida. Handsome men, well put together, um, respectful. Um, they all smelled good. <laughs> How do you feel about the motherly comment? I don't think that's a problem. I think it's good to be a little motherly at my age. Imagine if I was childlike at my age. That would not be a good thing. So, it's she was too she was too mature for that group. Yeah. That group, that group, they they don't they don't want to be told when they're doing something wrong. They don't want to be held to a mature standard. That group, they just want to have fun. Yeah, this is this is all for play. Yeah, they just want, it's okay. yeah, they He's just want to have fun. They too want young for me. They so want a goofy little youngster. And last but not least, if you had to pick one guy out of the whole lineup, like who do you think was like the cutest or the hottest, or you 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 see yourself with the most? Um, probably. Oh God, it's so hard because I don't know them. 
Um, probably either Gary or Akeem, just from their aesthetic and their vibe and their energy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we 0 for 2. 0 for 2. And that's, that's not where we want to be. We can't make the playoffs with this record. Nope. We can't win with this Cameraman, one, Cameraman, you showing the air vents. This the one. I'm going to have to fight for this one. Keep your Cameraman. hands, fingers, and toes crossed at home. Uh, while we bring out contestant number three. You took the Dewey off. Maybe his brain right. will come this back. your mic right here. How you doing? Name, age, what you do for a living, and uh, three fun facts about yourself. Hey, you got okay. sister so soldier. My name is Queen. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's Queen. Oh, boy. Oh. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Y'all yeah, get your oh. ears ready. It's going to be long. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, look at her segment, bro. It's going to oh, be long. Okay. It's going to be long. Gosh. Gosh, dang, dang it. it. All right, y'all. All right. What well, time is it? You know, time. Po- time you know, is it? Podcasters, they be talking a lot. Sorry. Oh. Eh. All right. All right, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we good. We good. We good. It's Queen, man. Round Let's one. Go. And then that's Queen with a V. And um, so I'm 20. Well, I'll be 26 by the time this episode drops. So I'll be 26 years old. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, I'm Big Virgo. <laughs> All right, so 26 years old, and um, I'm... All right, guys, it's been a phenomenal season. <laughs> oh, you can't make this up. She, she lasted exactly... <laughs> she lasted exactly 16 seconds. All right, y'all. I'm currently right now a student at Barry University. I'm getting my master's in business administration. Okay. Uh, I am a podcaster, host, and model right now. So Awesome. Yes. All right. So what's uh, like another fun fact about yourself? Someone that like if they could go to your IG or go to your page, something that no one knows. Okay. Um, a lot of people, because I feel like a lot of people kind of know about me right now, but okay. a lot of people popping. Don't, yeah, I'm, I'm a little I something, love, something. I love it for you. I love it for you. But a lot of people no don't know that I actually like anime and I like to draw. So mm. yeah, so that, I have like a little nerd side. So. That's what's up. Yeah. What's three, like, anime what's three always red flags? Nerdy. It's not. She's, she's, she's lost in the times. Anime stopped being nerdy after Attack on Titan came out. <laughs> hey, like you got dating three, and today it's not being nerdy once Attack on Titan came up. What's three I would say one of my biggest red flags is um, or deal breakers. Yeah. Deal breakers for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, someone who doesn't know how to communicate. Okay. So I'm someone. Oh, and argumentative. Oh. Um, yeah, I can't. I no, nah, that's not gonna work. That is very ironic. And also we saw that someone. We saw uh, that catch up for so. That's very not ironic. patient. Mm. Yeah. Love is patient. Love is patient. Love is kind. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> All right now. All right, uh, contestants. Turn around and meet. I'm nervous. Queen. Oh, everyone's good. Why you gotta be everyone's so good? extra, bro? I can't tell who's the younger one. Uh, between speak in two words for every sentence or the crash out barber. And if he's cutting your hair with this type of mentality, boy, your hairline. That's Darius from Atlanta. Yeah, bro. He doing people filthy. That's why I had to get dressed. You can't trust these barbers no more, bro. Good. All right. I like this lineup. You like the lineup? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That little razzle dazzle. Nice. Good, good. All right. We got one pop. Let's go down and see why he popped real quick, and then uh, we'll come back up and have you ask everyone a question. All right. You for get, sure. to love, get to know the lineup a little more. For sure. All right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you sip some shit, Lucas? You're a balloon. <laughs> My name is Najee. I'm 34, and I'm a barber. Okay. okay. And, um, Why'd you pop? That one line threw me way off when okay. she said, but everybody knows me. Mm-hmm. That one line right out. Why know. did that throw you off? Because it's... What, what about that line? It, I, why? Well, you could have held and, and saw why. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right. Mm-mm. Um, Mm-mm. Should I tell him I why? Like, or? No, I, just, I don't like my... Personally, I don't like my woman like knowing everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, I don't want to be out with my girl. Oh. oh my gosh, bro. T, don't ever bring this dude back, bro. She just said she she's a podcaster and, and she does model. and a model. So people are starting to know her. And she goes to a very popular college. And she's also been on this exact same channel. Twice. Twice. And you want to know something about this channel? It has 2.4 million people. 
the same channel you're on, you might be a little, uh, but yeah, hey. You know what she's saying? What's up to her all the time? Like, Allegedly. That's fine, but I just not for me. Okay. Like, I don't want okay. nobody that's popular like that or like in movies. I don't want to date a movie that's star. That's understandable. Or, yeah, like I'm for not sure. Really, yeah, I'm not. I'm good. Why does everybody know you? <laughs> um. So currently, right now, as I told everybody, so right now I do model, so I can understand why that would be something. And let me just make something clear: I'm not an IG model, so I'm not like an IG baddie or anything like that. I do runway modeling, so I actually get paid to model. Like Can I want to get make a little that. walk. I, uh, this is a non-probable no! offense. This is a non-probable offense. Can we get like a little a, a, a runway walk? I'm gonna get out the way. I think that I think that'd be pretty dope. If you could just start here, this is you got it. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Right, go ahead. I'm not. I'm not gonna try too hard. No, nah, no, nah, do your thing. Nice, so. You don't have to try too hard. Oh, 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 oh! oh. That ain't trying. Okay. That's cold. Go ahead, yeah, queen. Okay. Mm. All right. So yeah, New York Fashion Week, of course. All right. So, so that's why you, you are. No. Yeah, but other than that, like I definitely understand. I probably wouldn't want my man to be out there like that too much. Um, but no, no disrespect. But I definitely understand that, of course. Like I wouldn't want my man to be out there doing too much or whatever. So it's definitely understandable for sure. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he because, made a. I, I think he made a good decision for his preference for sure. Yeah, it looks is like yeah. you know at the because yeah no it's no no no, no you can. cool no. All right, for sure. All right, let's take it back. Let's take it back to the All top. Right. Um, do you have a a question for the uh, the men? Like one question? Uh, I do. Um, right now, I just want to ask everybody. Uh, what's your relationship with God right now? Like, does anybody have any relationship with? You know, a higher power or God at the moment. All right, let's take it down. Let's take it down. Hold on, we're gonna let's start here. You're, you're ready, huh? Um, it's not always solid, but I would love to get to that point where I go to church every Sunday and then read the book. Okay. The Bible? Yeah, the Bible. The book. Okay. <laughs> the book. Read the book. You better, put, you better put some respect on that. That the book. So me, you better put a, the good book in front of it. I was really my whole family was religious, okay. so I'm from another part of uh, the world. So I was originally- Where are you from? Germany. Okay. So it was Catholic, oh. right? Yes. So mm -hmm. then I moved to the States, then I turned into Christianity. So okay. I've always been in the choir, I always have faith in God. You mm -hmm. in the choir? For sure. Okay. The Alto, vocal, soprano, what, what, what the was that? vocals hit. Okay. The vocals mm -hmm. hit. Love to see it. But um, it. it's, it's <laughs> me, I'm definitely a man of God, so. Okay, great. I love that. All right. Awesome. You need to start reading more because there's no way you let this barber get in your mind that crazy that you start creating philosophies off of bull crap like mm. that. There ain't no way. <laughs> there ain't no way you saw a a woman a woman with wisdom and and calculated that mother being motherly was a bad thing, bro. You ain't reading. I'm so sorry. I'm so let's let's, let's go back. Cool name, school. age, and what you do for living. Oh, name is Wesley. I'm 28, and I have an embroidered business. Okay. Awesome. That's nice. Uh, Gary, 34. I went to FAMU, graduated cool. in nursing. Okay, cool. Right, awesome. Name, age, where you from, and your relationship with God? For sure, for sure. You already know it's your boy Al CF, recording artist, songwriter, okay. podcast host. You know what I mean? I'm 36. And, uh, you know, my relationship with God, uh, constantly working on my I am. Okay. You know, okay. so, you know, strong on my I am, my affirmations, I am God. You know? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you're not. No, you are not. No, you are not. So I can't get with this this new age spirituality, man. Y'all be just yapping, but blasphemy is crazy. Yeah, no, you are not. No, you are not. Myself that every morning, so you know it's good, but always working every day to get stronger. Okay. All right. I'm okay. looking very beautiful too, Queen. Thank you. I, I like, your, I like your outfit. That's thank nice. You. Thank you. Thank you. Why she go down there? Why right, she name, go age, down there like that? What you that? do for a living in your relationship with God? My name's Shla Sosa. I'm 23, and I have a very strong relationship with God. You see, as he started talking, her whole disposition changed. Yeah. Look, look, y'all, watch her face when he started talking. All right. Name, age. What you do for a living? Yeah. Look at his Look at her face. With God. My name's Shla Sosa. I'm 23, <laughs> and I have a very strong relationship with God. Very knowledgeable the... about a lot of religions and, you know, truths and lies and 
I already went down a rabbit hole, so yeah, okay. I kind of got a gist of everything and held on to the right stuff. So yeah, it's real strong. Okay, I like that. I like for your sure. response. All right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and your relationship with God. Uh, name is Akeem, age 33. What I do for a living, I'm self-employed, personal trainer, and a private events bartender. My relationship with God, I would say, is strong. Um, my family is very holy. Um, granny grew me up in the church. I always like to say, like, between my grandmother, my aunties, and my dad's side of the family, the only day I wasn't in the church growing up was on Thursdays, which oh, I me. love Thursdays to this day. <laughs> now, I don't find myself in the church as much, um, but my Bible's always with me, whether it's by the side of my bed or in my car. Um, it's something that I usually do on a regular basis is just put a verse of the day on my story. So God is something that's very important to me. That's great. He, he the only... He the only genuine. Well, him and homeboy at the very end with the broken leg. Those those two are solid. Mm -hmm. The the the. I can't say much about the podcaster dude because he ain't really said too much. But the three stooges are for sure cooked. Okay. Awesome. All right. Great response. All right. Let's like say that. we're gonna backpedal up to the front. Um, with those awesome responses, we have five balloons left. I'm gonna have you pop one just off of those responses. <laughs> Do you have your, uh, your toothpick? I have it, but I like everybody's response. Yeah, everybody's response. Huh? Oh, decisions, man. decisions. Do you have another question for him? I have another question. Can I ask one more if that's okay? Yeah, you can ask one okay. more. Next um, round. Three words to no, describe no, 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 no. You can ask one more next round, like after you pop oh, one. Oh, I have to, I yeah, have to pop one. Yeah, you got to pop one. Oh, no. You ask one more now, but just not right now. No. So you yeah. how, many do, how many do I have to pop? Just pop Come one. Come on, queen. Pop one. Just do it, one man. One has to go, and then you can ask your question, and then I'm going to let them ask questions. Um, no. Why are you doing this to me? Just out of game. Because I low key feel like, okay. I'm walking with you. Um, Man, I'm going to let you do your thing. I'll pop yours. Oh, All right. Come on up. Come on up right here. Um, why'd you pop his balloon? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. You're actually very attractive. Um, Thank you. Very handsome. I just have a thing right now that I'm not really trying to date someone who's a little bit shorter than me. Man. In all like honesty, no, height? no, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. In all honesty, if you were probably a bit taller, like this would be a whole different conversation. Um, yeah. But I feel like all your answers were right. And right. then also too, uh, because we kind of do the same thing, like podcasting, like. Um, I understand that that can probably have an intellectual conversation, but yeah. I kind of just want to date somebody that's a little bit outside of myself. <laughs> I feel that because yeah. I had that same. We just I, we just yeah, had that. We yeah. Just had that. Yeah. So so, so we, we actually like you know what I'm saying we actually on par with each other mentally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I feel like you would make like a really really great like boyfriend or husband, definitely for no, the right person for, for sure. sure. And, and yeah. you, gonna, you gonna let height get in the way of that? He can't control no, that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So I'm just gonna be honest. Without I'm, the heels. I'm six feet without the heels, and I'm six three in heels. Yeah, yeah. So. And yeah. I love I love all of that. You climb trees. All that. Oh. All that. I guess I'm missing out. All that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah. This, and this is how God made him. Yeah. Mm. Won't he do it? Nah, he did it. 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 For the right person, I'm sure it will okay. work out for sure. All right. So if it wasn't for the height, that, that's all. It and really it wasn't was. for the. It was just the height. And how it you feel about Queen? Yeah. Just looking at her. Is someone I mean, you would nah, approach? Queen Queen is definitely somebody I would approach. I would work with. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we would have a great working relationship. Like, you know, she might make me reconsider what I said earlier about, you know. And, but that. Buddy, check. You just, you just scrapped all that reasoning that you did for girl number two. You just threw it all away for lust, my boy. Because now you said that argument, but now you talk about, she going to make me reconsider. You're a sellout, dog. <laughs> Us in the same my industry, boy, out. not working. For I sure. feel like she got the type of energy where we could bounce off oh. each other, you know, and we wouldn't we wouldn't bump heads. We would respect each other's, you know. My boy just sold out his own. You know, I try not to. Thank you, T. Field, Thank you, T. Put him in 4K. You a sellout, dog. So we got a double fraud. That's two. That's two. You a sellout, bro. You if you can't stand on your own morals, bro, then you ain't got nothing to stand on in general, dog. Respect each other's, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I believe so. You know, I try not to in my field not date seriously date in my field. Okay. I, I try to keep it professional. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Sold up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get new rules. <laughs>
No, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Like boundaries, the rules. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, you got you to move the goalposts sometimes. Yeah, yeah. When it, when oh, it, no, it, no, bro. Yeah. You a sellout, bro. Well, st- uh, step back up to the front. You can ask one more oh, question, boy, and then I'm going to turn the question over to, to the, the guys. guys. Okay. All right, so one question for um, for all the guys. Um, just three words to describe yourself that nobody else knows about. But if you were to, like, literally nobody, no one knows you, but if you were to describe yourself, what are three words that literally just who you are? Okay, great question. Um, and then even before we start with that question, I'm going to have you answer your own question. Oh, okay. Um... Three words to describe me, I would say, is very dynamic. I have okay. a great personality. Um, humble. I had to get humble. I was not originally humble, but life, you know, has okay. its challenges. Okay. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I would say a hopeless romantic. Mm. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. We're going to turn it over to the guys. Ask them the same thing. And we're going to start at the end of the sign. Okay. We always start with you. Give you a little chance to, to think about it. Contemplate. All right. All right. Uh, three things about myself. Um, I'm a hopeless romantic. I mm-hmm. am fearful and I am relentless. Romantic, fearful, relentless. Okay. All right. I like that. All right. Same question. Um, courageous. Um, I'm very, I'm wise, like unexpectedly wise. Um, and I like to have fun, think outside the box, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. Spontaneous? Spontaneous. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. No balloon, no balloon, and uh, three things. Ambitious. Oh, that's a good one. Knowledgeable, for sure. Man, that's tough. I guess I'll be a little vulnerable. Goofy. Not too much, just a little personable, fun to be around with. You okay. Know? Cool. I like it. And last but not least, um, joyful, funny, and ambitious. Joyful, funny, and ambitious. Okay. Yep. All right. And then we're going to stay right here. Do y'all have any questions for her? Um, my first question, one question would be, if I just have to ask you one. What is it that you're looking in life for right now? Mm. Wow. <laughs> that's a really great question. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a really great. I'll give you time to think. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, one thing that I've been thinking about right now, and let me just say this. The last episode, I was told that I talked too much. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit shorter. Um, I would say right now I'm looking for peace. Well. <laughs> you still doesn't look like you were able to. Because mm-hmm. you're your segment is longer than everybody else's. Your segment is, uh, your segment is 50% of the video. So maybe not. Um, before I've been in situations that I feel like weren't really giving me peace of mind. And right now, even for myself and then also with my partner, I'm looking for someone that can just, you know, obviously be equal up to, but just to give me peace and just someone that I don't mind coming home to, to, um, have fun, cook, laugh, enjoy each other's time. So just that piece. For I'm sorry, sure. T. You said one question. I just had one more. Go ahead. I don't mind cooking. You said cook. Mm-hmm. Are you looking to come home to a meal or, or have a meal ready for? Are you looking at me for? <laughs> I'm going to be honest because I don't want to lie. I don't know how to cook. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that is because I didn't learn. Um, my mom was incarcerated, so she couldn't really teach me. Mm-hmm. And then my dad wasn't in my life, so I was raised majority by my grandparents in foster care. Mm-hmm. Um, so if, yeah, I'd probably come home to a meal. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got the willingness you to learn. Okay. I have the willingness to learn, okay. for sure. Okay. I think that's an awesome date. Maybe not a first date, but maybe a cooking class together. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. And okay. appreciate you being vulnerable. Yeah. And you know what? That's respect. It's not it's not always about having the skill down pat. Sometimes you don't have everything that you need to learn or you don't have everything that you feel like you're supposed to have at that moment. But the thing that trumps that is the willingness to learn. Mm-hmm. If you're willing to learn the trait or learn the skill, that's fine. But to lack the skill and willingly just be like, well, I don't need it, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. If you if I got asked more, I'd ask more. But you said more. Uh, yeah, uh, you have a question for her? Um yeah. Okay, so um, what was your age again? 
I'm 26. 26. Yes. And how you feel about dating somebody younger? Um, ooh, that's, uh, thank you for that question. Um, a lot of my exes have been older than me. Um, my last ex, he was in his 40s. Uh, so um, dating someone younger, I would say I don't really have a preference, but if I feel like the maturity is there, it doesn't really bother me as much. Um, as long as I see that this person is mature, so that's really how I feel about it. What's up? Alright. I, I got a few questions. Yes. Yeah. Let me get two. Uh, it's funny that Najee Nye, Nye, laughing, but he was just, he was at the start talking about he want a girl hit like in her twenty fives, twenty sixes, but he like 30, 34. But you laughing because a, a twenty six year old dated a forty year old. That, what what was the joke I made? It's still crazy. Yeah. But it still say it still applies. Yeah. I was yeah. expecting forty, but you yeah, know. forty crazy, but you know them. Hey, hey, you got the right. two piece, two piece, two two piece, two right, piece combo. Sure. <laughs> so, when was your last relationship? Oh, why are you holding the balloon? I want to make sure the balloon. <laughs> 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 when, was your, uh, when was your last relationship? A year ago. So this same month, last year. Um, was Literally. I in a relationship at this time? At this time, I don't think we were really in a relationship. I think we were broken up at the time. Thing. Not necessarily on and off. Like we were in a situation where we lived together, but we were trying to break things off. So, um, mm. yeah. Tied into the lease. Yeah. 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 We all been there. Okay. So between, I guess, the time that you stopped talking till now, mm -hmm. I guess, how many men have you uh, tried to date? Just tried to. Um, or have you been unavailable? Zero. I feel like I haven't been in a position. Okay. I feel like I put myself more focused into my schoolwork. If so I'm that leads me to another question. Are yeah. you even ready for anything? I would say yes. I feel like I gave myself a good time, like a year, to evaluate mm. if I was ready for a relationship. Honestly, just putting myself into the word of God. And um, I think I'm in my position to love again. So, yeah. Is there any? Hold on, hold on. That's three questions right there. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah, listen, listen. All right, listen, listen. The, it's right, the lifeline. So when was the your lifeline. last relationship? Have you been dating? And are you ready to seriously date? <laughs> oh, brother. Bouncing your question right, right back. Yo. Uh, Yo. Yeah. Uh, since we on live TV. <laughs> uh, See, y'all be ready to y'all be ready to call somebody else out. Do you get asked that same question? Be switching 2018. up. 2018. What was, oh, your, what was your last relationship? For sure, right before COVID. You okay. know, COVID was that era. Yeah. Just uh, either yourself or having fun, really. Yeah. To be and have, so, have you been seriously dating? Are you looking at what's going on? For sure, I dated like probably two times. Mm -hmm. okay. Seriously. And, how, and where are you right now? Single, as a dollar bill. But are you looking to settle down for some serious? For sure, I'm looking okay. for somebody Explore. cozy. Yeah, okay. for sure. I love that. Thank you. What are, your, what are your three deal breakers? Um, and then I could tell from your first question that religion is up there. So other oh, yeah. That. Oh, for sure. Uh, so what are your, um, your two, two deal breakers uh, after religion? I would say, um, can I put religion first? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's already first. It's still that's a deal breaker. Yeah, that's first. Um, I would say somebody that doesn't have a relationship with God. That's one. Um, mm -hmm. And relationship with God, period. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not interested in the people that are trying to go into Muslim or Islam or whatever that is. I just feel like, you know, right now I'm just for Jesus at the moment. So if you're interested in another religion, um, granted, I respect that. I will never knock anybody's religion. But right now I'm, I'm focused on my own. And that's right. Jesus at the moment. So that's a big one. Um, communication is a really big one for me. Uh, as you can see, I talk a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, I talk a lot, but I'm actually interested in someone that can not obviously do the same, but someone that's willing to communicate with me about um, not necessarily how they feel, because I understand that a lot of guys, they don't want to share how they feel in the moment. I Hammer get that. Man. I respect that. You get a time. Um, but someone that wow. if you're feeling down or hot, there's something going on with your life, your family, I would rather you talk to me about it instead of you going to the streets about it. So, Great communication. True. True. Um, and leadership. <laughs> I need somebody that's able to lead if, and I'm submissive, so. He's summing up, he's summing up all her sentences. Great communication. Yep, he, I'm going Yeah, he, he got to dumb it down. He dumbing it down a little bit. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, T I is funny, also bro. want that person to be submissive as well, because we got to be able to compromise. True. So, uh, yeah, that's just it. Just about your same question off of you. What, what's three, three of yours? Um... Kids, okay. Having kids, okay. 
um, not being ambitious, like not like okay being content with working nine to five, not wanting more out of life. Stagnant. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, last one. Last one's hard. I, I, I can't think of it, any last one right now. Okay. On spot. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to take a question from him? He has no balloon. Sure. Okay. Why not? Okay. So I'll put the in on it. I'm interested. So, I I like the fact that you're in tune with your. You don't have a balloon. What are you talking for? <laughs> That's not how the game works. <laughs> Gosh. But it's Queen. She like talking, so she's gonna yeah, take it. Yeah, she's gonna take it regardless. That's why I'm mad because she fell for the obvious. Bro, every time he's opened his mouth, it leads to all these dudes suddenly gaining philosophies and everybody start popping and then bro, you're 0 for two. Shut him up, man. Shut him up. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. I ain't even been talking this time because I know this is gonna be a long segment. That's why we ain't been pausing like that. And this buddy just came in here. Now we know, man. Your spiritual side right now. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you have always been in tune with since a kid? Is that something you've done always as a kid, or is this something new for you? Why do okay. you care? Um, I mean, I'm trying my best not to talk too much. I know you two, y'all got on me last time. I'm trying my best. It's not, <laughs> hey, hey, sis, it's not you this time. We're going to let you make it. It's not you this time. It's not you. No, but you know what? It is a good question. Like, it's, I, I'd rather him ask a question like this versus the questions he's been asking because maybe he's not on that spiritual journey. He's probably curious. He's probably curious. It's a good question. Yeah. For people that got balloons. I understand, but still. It ain't our That's, show. We ain't got no control over it's it. It's a good question. I'm going to say it to the mic. It's a good question for people that still have balloons. You already said you don't want her. Why do you need her to explain this to you? Talk uh, talk at the end of the show. You're out. <laughs> I feel like once you pop the balloon, they need to just take it. After they hear your reason, take you and move you off screen. Um, so, um, uh, I would say that I was born and raised my, I was born and raised by my grandparents. Mm -hmm. So I was raised in the church. I was in the choir. I was singing. I was the usher. Mm -hmm. Um, but I did stray away from God at one point in my life, especially when I went to college in undergrad. I already have a bachelor's degree. So you got a homeboy over here doing um, so anime profile pictures at the camera in the back. He just doing like, he, I was like, bro, chill oh, out. And, you know, my last relationship, okay? as I'm well irritated, as bro. life in general, like, I had to be humbled to get to where I am now. So I think that God just, you know, did a 360 in my life. And I have to acknowledge him at this moment in my life. And he's where I was homeless. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to sugarcoat, baby. I know I look good, but I wasn't always who I was. So, um... He did a huge 360, so, I yeah. respect the fact you're accountable. Yeah. Because most women stray away from that response. Yeah. What the freak was that? I don't know. T, what yeah. happened here? Editing error. The fact you're accountable. Yeah. Was this, was this a separate scene? Probably. Most women stray away from that response. Yeah. So, I respect the fact that you're accountable. You know, yeah, she, vulnerable. she's vulnerable. being pretty. Yeah, she's being very honest, guys. Yes. Huh? All right. Yeah. Okay. Checkpoint. Well, good. let's take it on back. Uh, at this time, it's gonna get a little I bit more difficult for nobody. you. I know, right? Because um, I like everybody' responses. But now you have to pop two. Oh, no, no. Yeah. You have to pop two balloons. You still have your toothpick, correct? Can I ask one more question, please? You want to ask one more question right now? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, um, how do you guys handle a stressful situation in your lives? Easy. Can I answer that? Sure. Oh my yeah. gosh, Gary's getting on my so, nerves, bro. Mm, me, I'm really, uh, I'm a little introverted, so I do fall back into my own little world, and I try to analyze and understand the situation, right? I, I'm not really expressive, but I learned to be more expressive and communicate with my partner. I mm -hmm. used to be quiet. Something wrong, babe. Nope. Mm -hmm. Everything's good, but mentally it just it wears you down eventually as a man you know mm. so i haven't really had too many encounters where i was uh i felt safe to be vulnerable enough to another woman mm. but i mm. have but um yeah depending on the scenario like if it's, it's internally right there. like at the moment of time it happens i'm not gonna lie like i might not be clear-headed to assess the situation but if it's externally like I, i'm like in past experiences i've been through some stuff where I know how to reflect, think about it. I ask third people, third party people, just in case to see like if my head's right or check. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just evaluate the situation depending on yeah. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, how old is he? How old are you? I'm Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay, yeah. great, great. All right. 
You need to question he do look young. Yeah. Run it back to yeah. him. Time. How do you handle? Bro, bro, I ain't paid attention to nothing this entire show. Tough situations in your life. Um, it depends on what I'm going through. Um, most of the time, if it's tough, it's a lesson in there somewhere. So I just sit down, analyze situation, put the pieces together, pull them apart, put them back together, see what I come with. And then at the end of that, I don't really be mad because it be understanding and I don't be stressed because mm -hmm. it's come from understanding. So I don't know. I, I'm very. Okay. <laughs> I'm only pausing because we need to pause. I know. But I. Calm and chill. Okay. I like right. that. Thank you. Calm and chill. So the way that I handle tough situations is I just take a moment. Um, it really depends on more so like the situation so if it's like my partner and it's something it's a tough situation that's coming from my end from my trials and tribulations my past i like to you know take a moment look at the body language of my partner if i feel like she is getting uncomfortable and uneasy but mm -hmm. trying to tough it out like i just be like no we don't need to do this we can take a moment let me know when you're ready if it's something where i'm trying to communicate and she's coming hot and heavy then i'm just going to communicate that i need a moment and that um and i would like that the same way that when I'm calm and I want to have resolution and I see that you're uneasy and I offer for a moment to be had, mm -hmm. it's a lot more easier to take a moment, really take time, not feel rushed when the other person is saying that you're uncomfortable and can take a moment. Mm -hmm. So that's really what I like to just be able to stay level headed. If you know, be honest with yourself, know where you're at. And if you're not in the space to have that conversation, okay. take the time that you need and be accountable and come back and have that conversation. Right. All right. All right. I like it. And uh, we're going to keep it right here. How do you handle? Conflict mm -hmm. at the moment? Um, great answer. Um, I would say right now how I handle conflict at the moment. And um, just so I can be clear, I actually am in therapy right now. And I just want to be very transparent about that. Right. And um, right That's now good. how I handle. Some of y'all need therapy and it's okay. Everybody There's no shame on that. Go ahead and get your therapy, man. Conflict. There easy. are times, yes, I am a communicator, but there are times where I feel like right now we can't communicate in the moment. We're going to clash too much. So sometimes I do need to take that breather and that break. I'm not saying just cut you off completely, but I'm just saying even if I have to take a day to kind of just self-reflect and um, before I say things out of hurt um, because I'm someone that doesn't want to speak out of hurt. So, um, yeah, just a little self-reflection and just. Okay, that's a good, that's a good point. Do not communicate with your partner when you're hurting like that. Like, if you need to go take that moment, take a breather, take whatever. Because one thing about it is that that whatever jab you about to get that person out of that, that hurt, that pain, that pain response, you can do a lot of damage to your partner. Because you can say something that in your mind or in your day to day, this is, not, it's something that you would never say because you, you don't even feel that way. But it's something about when somebody do something or y'all get into a heated moment and sudden hurt, you just say anything. You say anything because you want your partner to feel that same hurt that they may have inflicted on you at that yeah. moment. You just got to get even. And sometimes it, it could do too, it could do way too much damage. So do not operate out of your hurt. Take your moment. Take your breather. Go take a walk. Go get some water. Go get something to eat. Go watch a TV show or something. But I know those moments where you feel like you need to say something back. I'm going to tell you now, from a man's perspective, do not do it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. It's where I'm at right now. But besides that, that's the next day I'll be ready to communicate and talk and just say, hey, babe, like, I'm not feeling it. Can we talk? So that's it. All right, perfect. Well, that was your one question that you wanted. Yeah. And uh, from that, you have to pop. I don't want to. <laughs> one more question? No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> Two more pops. So... You the balloons stop playing. I don't want to do this. Yeah. I'm just this making sure you know. This is a tough part. Um, damn, y'all got that shit on too. Uh, all right. You just did, you just did all that. Oh my you gosh. Just did all, you just did all that God talk. All that God talk and just threw it out that fast. This is what I be talking about, man. For all you people that keep doing this whole, whole you walking with Christ and all that, Clean your mouth up because Jesus wasn't cursing and you supposed to be Christ-like, right? Shun profane language. Stop all that cursing. Y'all don't need to do it. 
I don't even want to hear it. That's crazy. Uh, I really want to know. I really does. Hold on. What? This is that's crazy. Uh, was I tight. really want to know. I really does. Come back. Come we'll back. be back soon. Uh, I promise. And one more. Damn. I want you to know that you will be great for someone. <laughs> Your age scares me. 23 scares me. And I dated someone younger than me before and it didn't work out. So I want you to understand that I'm making this decision out of my negligence, okay. but not because of you as a person. Okay. That's valid. Right. That's valid. And um, so we can stay here. So okay. you, you basically just told them why you pumped. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So you know, you know that there. So um, why'd you have your balloon held on so long? Um, I just witnessed she ready to grow. Mm. <laughs> she feel me? And um, I'm one of those. I don't have a lot of those in my life mm. who were mm. willing to reach new heights and think different. You felt that. Different, you know? So, that was one of those things. But right, for so. sure. Okay, awesome. And someone really, really, really wants to know. So, we're gonna. So, why did you pop his balloon? Tell me why. So, the fact <laughs> that you told me that you were working on vulnerability was a scare factor to me because my ex told me the same thing oh. and not comparing the two you are though but go ahead uh-uh no 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 because when old girl said that she didn't deny having motherly instincts but that's not something that she would present it you flipped it back on her and said, but if you say that you're not doing it but you can do it in my mind that means you doing it it's like saying you don't, you're not doing it, but you still have it. Yeah. So if you still have it, you still do it. So she's doing the same. She, it's the same logic. Yeah. Don't be tight now. Same thing. Don't be tight now. And not comparing the two. You are though, but go ahead. Okay. I understand that. I respect that. But it's a fear for me. Not saying that you are doing what you're doing in the moment because you can honestly be the perfect gentleman. And that's just something that I have to, you know, it's an L on my part. So I just feel like right now the fear is what's taking the forefront. That's it. Well, uh, why'd you hold on to your balloon so long? How do you feel she about her rebuttal? Why she pop? <laughs> and where's your head at now? But you're very handsome, by the way. Very handsome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. I mean, the rebuttal, I can understand that because I'm very uh, mature to understand a person's growth and just uh, perseverance, you know? So just hearing your whole story is really, really uh, extraordinary. You know, I feel like there's a lot of things you're missing out on that are really crucial, mm -hmm. but who cares, right? But at the same time, oh. it's just really unfortunate that you let a, a past trauma mm. affect something. You lucky gaslighting. Dude, gaslighting? You lucky <laughs> gaslighting. And you, 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 Gary, you, yeah. there ain't no way you You know what's crazy? Talk it's crazy. Like that. You know what's crazy? When that, when old girl, we going back to number two, when she, when she called out old boy for, for projecting on her, this energy was nowhere in the room. But now it's something that you wanted, and all of a sudden now you called out, you trying to call her out for projecting, you uh, gaslighting, that, like this is crazy, that bro. That you let uh, a past trauma mm. affect something that could be a blessing towards you. Wow. Right? So it's like, I run into plenty of women just like you. Mm. Yeah, I bet. And I understand that, um, you know, the things you go through can be scary when you're moving forward uh, to something mm. new, a new situation. So I think uh, you would have those little fears um, with anybody that you run into. So Ooh, I yeah. think you need to actually that, that scammer talk. kill uh -huh. completely. Ooh, I love no, that. I'm not, I'm not being, like, assertive or trying to be disrespectful. Th nothing you like, said was disrespectful I don't even all. feel like you're ready for anything that we mm. are offering you. Mm. So okay. it's like <laughs> Yo, hey, women, stay far away from this type of guy. Because in this small time, all of a sudden, he has not only became a hypocrite, but now he's standing and saying things that he wasn't giving this other girl in round two that same type of energy with. This right here, stay away from this. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Stay far away from this. Do not go for this. He only saying this because he really wanted her. Because the other girl, he allowed that whole group of men to project this entire same thing onto her 
and he was right there. It's crazy how you didn't see it and you wasn't paying attention to it. And all, he did all this yap, bro. His ego got stumped. Being yeah, hot. and now he he over here gaslighting this chick, bro. That's I don't crazy. even feel like you're ready for anything that we are offering you. Mm, so okay. it's like. <laughs> Even whole boy to the left was like, what is he talking oh, about? Buddy's chatting. Buddy is chatting, bro. Me, I don't know the type of guy you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Look, look. But I know the type of man <laughs> hey, that he ain't talking for me. He, he, he talking for himself. He ain't talking for me. I can offer her the world right now. She ready for it. What's wrong with Buddy? What's wrong with Buddy? <laughs> you, um, that you want your husband to be, right? Just based off of spirit. I love that you said husband, because I ain't looking I mean, for a man. I'm looking for a husband. But I know you. that at this point, because I, you've been through a lot of shit. For sure. So it's like, why would you go backwards? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I get it. I mean, I'm still cozy at the end of the day. <laughs> but I held on to my balloon because I feel like if we both walked into a room, you would hold that room just as long as I would hold that room. So a superficial reason, cause you yeah. don't, you not you, now you don't like her. Today. What about her personality? What about her intellect? What about all that? Her charisma. Like it wouldn't be uh, like a lesser, less, like less energy coming from each other. You felt power couple. Right. You know, I like energy. Okay. I'm, I'm built off energy. I'm inspired off of energy. Look, you know, so. look, look at him. What is Buddy yapping about? We do not believe you. Yeah, that's why. We have two balloons left. Guys, do you have any last questions for Queen? Where, where are you located? Where do you, where do you stay at? Okay, so I'm originally from Orlando, Florida, and currently I live in North Miami. North Miami? Yes. Hmm. I live in West Palm. Is okay. That, is that a, it's not a problem. Okay. That's like an hour and 30 minutes away. Like, okay. I got a car. He hurt, boy. <laughs> you bet. Okay. He hurt. First and foremost, you're absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Thank you. Um, really appreciate the vulnerability and the Thank accountability. Um, one of the gentlemen said it like it's not something that we really see in women. Mm -hmm. So when we do see a woman that's willing to be vulnerable and accountable, it's really gonna get all of our green flags off, right? Mm -hmm. um, with that, I want to know like uh, I'm no stranger to a troubled past, right? Of course. And I and then something I seek for is somebody honestly with a troubled past who's gone through that. And how do you feel mm -hmm. that with therapy, with your troubled past, how are you able to still make the child inside of you smile even though mm -hmm. you went through those things? That is a really great question. <laughs> Thank you. I would definitely say there are some things that I still have my challenges. Um, obviously, nothing is perfect. Um, there are days where I still question my past and not necessarily my relationships, to be all honest with you. I think I'm past that. I think it's more so questioning my childhood. So childhood trauma is more so at the forefront. Um, and in all honesty, I would say God. I would say that's really um, what keeps me going, what motivates me, what challenges me, okay. and what puts me in a perfect dynamic. Okay. Um, not perfect, obviously, but what kind of strives me to be in a perfect dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really what it is, because at one point in my life, I was hopeless. Gotcha. And, mm. you know, Jesus, that kind of gave me that what I needed <laughs> to step forward. Jeez, <laughs> um, but in all honesty, that's the best answer that I can give you at the moment. It wasn't a particular person. It was just spiritual for me. Sorry. I love that. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. All right. Do you have any anything else uh, for the guys? Any other questions before I uh, make you make your you know what's crazy? final decision? Um, I'm so sorry, notes. guys. I have, I have terrible memory. I'm sorry. Um, you know some, some yeah, I have terrible memory. Uh, yes. What is the most important quality for a partner? And this will be a question for both of you guys. Um, the most important quality I would say for a partner is communication. Okay. Mm -hmm. If right. I just have to name one, communication, I have a top five though. Okay, golden star. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> the most important quality. Most important quality. In a relationship, right? Yes. Um, being family oriented because I didn't come from that. Like my mm. my aunts and uncles, they don't. They don't stick together, but I would like to put them together, but it just takes a village to do that. You know, it doesn't take one person, but I've tried many times, but I, I see that one day mm -hmm. I can probably get to that point. You're trying to break that for you. For your, yeah, yeah. yeah, my, yeah. I respect that. Yeah. Right. And what about you? I respect that because the concept of family, it, it died off a lot. A lot of people, families don't operate like families, bro. You got families that will do you worse than uh, a dude on the street will do you. So I understand it. Yeah, that is, no, that is true. I feel like, 
families don't know how to operate like families because we we're so people are so divided Mm -hmm. and not intentionally but just by like now it's by nature right so yeah two answer your own question i almost feel sad for what i'm about to do you're not gonna you want to answer your own question first oh oh, okay here we go No. Got your brakes on. I think having a group circle. I think like having everything a, was a group right. circle. Everything was right. You gotta eat. Put it the wasn't the leg, and I, honestly, I love taking care of a man, but it wasn't the leg. It was the family oriented question. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I don't hate my family. Mm-hmm. Just so you know that I don't hate my yeah. family right now. I'm not as open to being as family oriented. Mm. Yeah. And I know that might be a deal breaker for some. And it doesn't mean that I'm not trying to go to the family reunion or anything like that. Mm. It's just okay. that I'm saying within myself, and I want to give like a, an example, if that makes sense. Um, and I'll give, any, I'll give you an example of an ex that I had at the mm-hmm. time. This uh. ex, he was, and I already know you, you talking ish. This ex, he was very family oriented and I was there and I was sad the whole time. And it wasn't that I was sad because seeing the environment, like the environment, whatever. I was mostly sad because I wish that I had that. Right. Mm. And I realized that that was, again, a trauma that I wish that I would have been able to heal. Right. So I guess you can kind of look at it as like jealousy. Yeah. But in reality, I wasn't there yet. Yeah. I, I, no, I agree a thousand percent. I agree a thousand percent. I've experienced that firsthand. So it it sucks it sucks but is as long as you're willing to work through it or you can identify it and you can you know be open with your partner and address it your partner should never put you in a situation where you feel uncomfortable so if being around family is not something like you are keen to doing but you're willing to do it for the sake of the relationship but then you still have like stipulations and boundaries to certain degrees because it can be triggering then i understand it it take you know it takes two but that, yeah. Mm. So. But I said that I don't have that either, and I said I would like to pop. build to have that. That's what I said. I so, so. I might have misunderstood that. That's what I'm mean, like. Do you? Let me ask you a question. Do you strive for it? Do I strive for it? I, I yeah. Feel like, I feel like. That's would you envy? Like not envy. I'm sorry. That's not the right word. But would you be upset if I was kind of somebody like right now? I'm just like, oh, I'm not. I'm not feeling it at the moment. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like right now, like I said, I'm not family oriented. Like my aunts and uncles, they're like separately mm-hmm. doing their own things. And then, like I said, when I get my family, I would like to bring them together. I would like to do that friend reunion. Oh, I, I realize why it's such a big thing. Cause remember, she said she she went through the system. Yeah, she yeah, was raised. So she, yeah, okay. She was raised by her grandparents, but she also went through foster care. So. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think with my partner to get to that point, cause it's not right now. It's not. I don't have that. Okay. So, yeah. I might have overstepped, okay. and I'm sorry. I apologize that's for fine. that. That's fine. I apologize for Would that. Would you like to give him a balloon back? Would you like a balloon back? Uh, you... I'm pretty sure he's probably not going to take it back, so it's okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not taking yeah. it. Yeah. You're all right. <laughs> good. Hurt your feelings a little bit, huh? Yes. All right. I appreciate that. Come on up for me real quick, please. Step to the right a little bit. Hey. And I'm going to bring you right here. All right. Do y'all have, y'all have any final questions for yes. one another? I yes. do. Okay. Um, ladies first. Okay, um, many men won't feel comfortable about my outfit in the moment, right? Obviously, um, you know, granted, you know, the top is okay, but I am wearing shorts and it is a jumper. So I wanted to know if you were to bring me in front of like your family or maybe like a coworker or a friend, how would you feel about it and would you tell me to change? The outfit that we're seeing right the now. The outfit that you're seeing currently right now. Are you implying now. that this outfit is provocative? Um, I'm saying that some men might have challenges. I want to know your perspective on it. I don't view it that way. I think oh. that you're very stunning put together. I think that more, you're a model. You know, so mm-hmm. one of your features is your legs. You're showing that feature. Um, I love an hourglass shape, so that's something that's a plus. I love a personality. I was raised by young parents, so like my parents' outlook on, you know, a lady that I bring home is a little bit more closer to what we grew up with. Okay. So they know the difference between seeing a girl who's just out there and just kind of trying to be provocative and just enjoying her, her body and her look. I was raised by my mom predominantly. I got a lot of females in my oh. family, so it's I can tell the difference between a woman feeling comfortable in her body and her seeking attention. Okay, and one last question. Hold on now. Oh, you just got one question. I'm no, saying, no, 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 because they're going to give you the comment. They're going to say, oh, you talk a lot. No, let, well, let, I know they're going to say well, I talk a lot, but him, it's important. Let him <laughs> ask his question. Okay, you ask question? your question. Ask your question. Um, I like to ask the, the same. No, I don't. See? I'd say my question would be, um, you 
you said that you like to uh, cater to a man, right? Mm -hmm. What would be your top five things that Ooh. you would personally hope that your man likes so that you can do for him? Okay, so Great hopes question. that in hopes that he likes. Yeah. Okay, not what I like, but what he likes. Well, it would what you would like to do like, for him, you know? So okay, what I like, would like to do for yeah, him. Yeah, like what's your top five things that you okay. just like when you're thinking about my man, my husband, my man, my man, my man. Okay. Oh. Um. So what I would tell you is that I'm really a giver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. I'm not sure if I should be. Sh that 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 made you laugh, bro. I just hope she don't talk herself out of me, this. Yeah. yeah. There it is. But I'm someone I give a lot. And when I say I give a lot, if my man came to me and said, hey, babe, I'm trying to open a studio. If I had the money at the moment, we're going to figure out, you know, even if that's me going into my savings to open the studio because it's us together. Oh, she'll ride or die. Mm. Um, I'm just going to be honest. Um, so in studio in if closet. it's a situation like that, I'm really a giver because I'm someone I give a lot of myself, mm. not just to my man, but to others. Okay. And I realize that that can also be a problem, too. Um, so that is number one. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, um, I do want to be honest with you. I cannot cook. Okay. I can't. That's A. It's typical of y'all generation. She's honest, man. Like hold you. Um, but I'm willing to learn. Okay. And I'm willing to just, daddy, teach me. Okay. Um, oh. So I'm very submissive when it comes to that. Okay. I want to learn. Yeah, Come in the kitchen. Me. Let's cook it up. Get it done. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very submissive, mm. um, obviously, when the respect is due. So if I feel like I'm not being respected at that time, then yes, I probably won't be as submissive as I would want to be. Okay. Um, so that's one. Uh, number three, um, who I talk a lot. I talk a lot, mm -hmm. but I'm a great talker. Uh, if you need me at a business deal, a closing, whatever that is, you say you had a business, correct? Correct. Um, I just make a great first impression, mm -hmm. and I feel like I uh, I look good on somebody's arm. Okay. And All right, hold on, well, that was three. I know he asked for five, but for time purposes, okay. I feel like if you guys match, that's something you can talk about over at the dinner table. Uh, oh yeah, or at the date or whatever you off decide string. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gonna Jack. have this conversation off, off string. string. Um, <laughs> ask your final cool. question that I'm not gonna allow you to do right now. Yeah, you're uh, gonna let me. No, 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 I'm not. No. So. I would say that that could be something y'all do at a later date. I, I think that would be awesome. Um, is it a match for you? Uh, I'd like to get know. I'd like to know more about her. Okay. I'm curious. Is it a match for you right now? Would I'm like? definitely curious. I would like to get to more to know more about him for sure. Okay. Yeah, so. Well, I think we have a match, right? Yeah. We have a match. I'm we match it again, but this time, this, oh, yeah, time, yeah, yeah, this, time, this time, this time, this time. I got to be transparent because this time, the last person she had I a match matched before, with, but they didn't even meet up afterwards. Yeah. But 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 this time is different. I it hope ain't so. no gift so card involved. Y'all go ahead and walk over that way. I better go and get something to eat. Yeah. Go to McDonald's Sorry. right now. He's like, I don't want to talk about the past. We about to be the future. Yeah. We got a match. How do you guys feel about matching? Give it to you want to answer that first? Ladies first, always. I love it. All right. So, um, honestly, I'm super excited about Akeem. Um, did I say it right correctly? Yes, Akeem? Okay. Stress the A, stress the E. <laughs> okay. I love that. So, I'm super excited. I'm ready to go on our first date. Go on. Because <laughs> um, I feel like we have a lot <gasps> to share. And honestly. <laughs> yep. C, C, T. How hard C, T. T said, nah, y'all going on this date. Y'all not about to waste my money. My, my time and money. Yeah. Thank you. Honestly, I really don't have nothing to say. I'm speechless. I'm ready to take her out. See what goes on from there. Yeah. Thanks for watching another video of Pop the Balloon to Find Love, episode five. I appreciate all y'all rocking with me. Shout out to all the support. Thanks for watching. Turn this on at the hair salon, the barber shop. Tell a friend to tell another friend about the channel. Leave a comment. Hey, you throwing, hey, what are you throwing up? There. What is he throwing up? I don't know, man. The dialogue, though. And I'm trying to wonder and figure out why you haven't hit the like button yet. It's upsetting me and everyone else on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I got him, T. I got him, T. I got him, T. I got him right now. Hey, hit the like button. Hit the freaking like button. You didn't watch this far into the video. You, ain't, you still ain't like it? You the reason why we not where we at. It's you. That's crazy. I'm playing. Nah, shout out to Tippendale. I won. Yeah, she won. That I was crazy. You. Hey, uh, this was a lot of men that... Boy, hey, man. Do better, bro. I can't wait to see episode six. I can't wait to see episode six. T, hurry up and make episode six, man. That's crazy. Don't rush All right, y'all. Peace.